As travel by plane and car increases, so do air pollutants, and when mixed with dust in the air, they can lead to severe asthma. Our Cronkite News investigative team took a look into childhood asthma cases across the state. Children living in low-income urban communities throughout the valley suffer more serious bouts of asthma caused by dust, dirty air, and other pollutants. Hundreds of kids and teens go to emergency rooms each year. Um, it feels like I'm, um, um, it feels like I'm dead. A Cronkite News analysis of a hospital emergency room admissions by zip code shows that more children living in South Phoenix, Southwest Phoenix, Maryville, West Phoenix, and near Sky Harbor Airport, to name a few, were treated in the ER for asthma more than children living in other zip codes. So I noticed that he had asthma when he was probably about four to six months. Just four years old, Xavion uses two inhalers six times a day to treat and control his asthma. He's been to the hospital three times, one of nearly 1,400 children in zip code 85041 have been to emergency rooms over the last six years. When I looked at statistics in Maricopa County, that's the highest county in Arizona that has asthma, which makes sense because that's the most populated. At the top of the list is zip code 85008, just north of Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, with more than 1,600 children seeking emergency care between 2009 and the first half of 2015. More than 30% of residents live below the poverty level. The lower income areas tend to be in the areas that have the worst ozone levels because they're closer to freeways. Um, school, you'll see a school right next to a freeway. In zip code 85009, home to a sewage plant, a landfill, and the Maricopa County Jail Annex, more than 1,200 children were treated for asthma in the ER. Interstates 17 and 10 both cut through the area. So it used to be a school age disease where everyone thought you had to be like over five years old to have asthma, but we're treating patients as young as like eight months or older. Janine Burkett is the school nurse at Garcia Elementary School located near 27th Avenue and Buckeye Road. She usually sees 15 to 20 asthmatic children in her office each week. There's probably about eight of them that come in every day, sometimes twice a day, just depending on the air quality and depending on the weather. It's so busy in this area. And then the freeway is right there. Um, and then we're just surrounded by dirt lots. In 2009, studies by Arizona State University and the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality found that so-called particulate matter in Central, South, and West Phoenix was triggering asthma at the 95% confidence level starting at age five. And the kids got to go to school or whatever. Those are the times that are the worst because there's long exposure to elevated concentrations. You can think about it as is each er polluted urban area results in a reduction of your life expectancy. And I don't know what it, the number would be for Phoenix. Air monitoring sites have been set up across some of these vulnerable neighborhoods. I think if they took away the landfill and the traffic and the freeway and, you know, all of those things that contribute, I think maybe these kids would be a lot better off. Brandy Henry, Cronkite News.